More than 5 million Americans have a heart rhythm disorder known as AFib. But here's the scarier statistic. That number is projected to more than double in just eight years. In the month of September, healthcare leaders try to increase awareness about this issue and how to live with it. 1011 Now's John Grinvald joins us live in our studio with more. John. Kelsey, Cole, the thumping of a heart is the white noise behind every human action. But when that thumping gets off rhythm, it can lead to strokes or even death. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, has quickly become a common medical diagnosis in the U.S. and in Lincoln. Mark Epp says it snuck up on him. I'm the kind of guy who takes two stairs at a time up the stairs. Um, and at the top of the stairs uh, where I work at Talent Plus, um, I was a little out of breath, and it was unusual for me. Mark had open heart surgery for a valve issue in the 1990s, but he'd spent his life on the move since then. He regularly exercised and avoided unhealthy foods. So after that climb up the stairs, he needed answers. I did talk to my general physician at that particular time and talked about it. And that's when they discovered that I was actually in atrial fibrillation. Mark, who's in his 60s, started getting treatment for AFib at Bryan Health a couple years ago. Their heart hospital treats around 15,000 patients with the condition really every year. Your top chambers are just quivering. So the blood that's going through there tends to coagulate and cause clots. These clots can break off and cause a stroke. Treating AFib can involve shocking the heart back into regular rhythm. Dr. Robert Purcell specializes in ablation, which is heating or freezing around the veins, preventing electrical signals from causing the disorder. Mark received his second ablation a few months ago and says he feels much better. He has this advice. Listen to yourself, listen to your body, be in tune with it and don't ignore it. Check it out if you feel that something is uncomfortable.